Mandatory overtime, contracted employees, and bonuses for new hires. Local detention centers need help. Fox 8's Tess Bargeber has been tracking progress uh, across the Piedmont Triad. She's in the studio this evening. So, Tess, have recent incentives made a difference? Well, Neil, not yet. Today, Guilford County, you can see, has 60 vacancies across both detention centers in both High Point and Greensboro. In late February, that number was 62. In Forsyth County, it's even higher, with 70. 74 vacancies in February. They needed 73 employees. Well, it's definitely concerning being that that far down. More stress for Forsyth County detention officers working between 24 and 36 extra hours per month. An outside contracted company helps fill the voids. We have a a contract for 38 uh, contracted security officers to come in. Uh, currently, we have 24 of those positions uh, field. So, but the problem is they're not certified detention officers, so they can't supervise the residents. So they have to work in non-supervisor roles, such as uh, control rooms and other positions. It's a temporary solution and a recruiting tool. And I've actually had uh, several of those, their personnel interested in becoming detention officers. Forsyth County Detention Center Security Captain Cameron Witt explained an open house last month attracted new candidates. Well, it's not like most of uh, your jobs. Uh, you can't just see the inside of a jail normally, you know, from a civilian point of view. So we wanted them to see what we work in. It's not the, the jail that you remember on the Andy Griffin show. It's not the bars. It's not what you see on TV. Guilford County Sheriff Danny Rogers is offering a $4,000 signing bonus to new employees and a 25% pay raise to part-time detention officers to get staff in his jails. He's also paying overtime to keep everyone protected. Pies are not left uncovered. So our goal, my goal is to be able to continue to keep Two people to a floor, unfortunately, <coughs> excuse me, unfortunately right now we're not been able to do that because of the shortage, but we believe we will. And Sheriff Rogers says the pay has led to more applicants. Forsyth County hopes to hold another open house at the jail, and I did check on shortages in other counties. Davidson County has 12, Randolph has 15. I'm still waiting to hear back on Alamance County shortages. Neil. Tess, thank you.